The NMP scheme was introduced into Parliament because there were lack of opposition uh, uh, MPs in the House. I think this, this happened during the time when we have only Chiam and we have only Lao Tia Kiang. So the government decided to introduce this scheme. Now this scheme is in addition to the non-constituency uh, uh, member of parliament scheme. The non-constituency member of parliament scheme allow the losers of the of uh, of the of uh, general election, the top three, uh, the top losers to get into parliament. That is different. That is that is a, a, uh, a non-constituency MP scheme. But I think the government wanted to introduce this uh, nominated MP scheme to allow non-partisan Singaporeans to come to the House and give their views on issues. Now, when they used the word non-partisan, I was already quite worried. How are they going to find people with non-partisan views? Most of them will have their own hobby horse subjects to talk about when you give them a platform. So my concern when they wanted to introduce this non, this uh, NMP scheme, was that we will slowly invite people with hidden agenda to come to the house, and my con my worry is that we went to ha went to parliament to enact bills to make sure that religion, uh, uh, race issues all should be carefully. Uh, who should not be allowed to, to be at because of our, our multiracial uh, composition of, in Singapore. But when, this non, when I saw this, I was worried because I fear that people could use this scheme you know, to enter parliament. I told them, they asked me how, I said, very easy, I said. They can send somebody into the house by proxy, they will be the proxy of a group who, whose interests they want to promote through parliament. Because you must remember, parliament is a very important platform. So I said, this, uh, this uh, proxy representation by these groups with hidden agenda will one day get into the house. Now, over the years, I noticed that the nominated member scheme took a change in its in the way they select people. From the non-partisan -partisan group, now they, are, they move to a sectarian representation. Now when we talk about sectarian representation, it really means this. People with, uh, with who are interested in, let's say, and a particular, or from a particular group, say the doctors, the lawyers, the unionists, and whatsoever, clan, uh, clans and so on, will one to be represented because they all they belong to different sectors. Um, this is where I worry because this is where you're, call, you're going to cause a divide. Because those who are not represented or are not chosen as one of the sectors to be represented in the house will feel very unhappy. And, uh, and this to me exact, is exactly what I had in mind when I objected to the scheme because I worry that look the more then what is going to happen to parliament? These people come into, into, the, into parliament, they have no constituency, they have no accountability, they just come to the parliament and speak on the subject which will represent a particular group. Let's take for example the unionists. I can't, I can't understand there were at least eight or nine unionist MPs in the house and yet they have, we have a unionist MP a non non constitu uh, uh, an MP. To me, it, it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous because are you telling me that the MPs in the House are representing the, the, the unions are not capable of uh, representing the workers and you need a non -constitu a non uh, a, a nominated MP to come into the House representing unions, or for example, doctors, or for example, lawyers. And this is very, very bad. So when the vote came, Although the whip was not lifted, I told them my conscience would not be clear if I supported this scheme. And therefore I voted against this. And I think I did the right thing.